Hey, remember this place? Yeah, it's been a real long time since we've been here. Well... Oh no, not that one. Ah uh, yes, remember this book which was sealed and we couldn't read it before? Well now we can. So yes, um, it's actually a dungeon. And this is the dungeon that forced me to resort to a walkthrough on my first playthrough, because there are some puzzles in here which are... Well, they're riddles, and they didn't make any sense to me back then. Also, I need to note, um, these enemies here have a very, very slim chance of dropping Cecilia's ultimate, um, book item. It's the Necronomicon. They, they, they can drop that on a very, very rare chance. I'm not sure what the odds are, but I'm pretty sure I fought these things for at least an hour or two before I got one on my last playthrough. Actually, I'm not sure. Does luck affect your item drops? I actually don't know. Well, they're both at best. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get that, even after, like, grind for it off-cam. Also, um, this is a one-time dungeon, too. Oh yeah, this, this, this place is like a clock. You have to, I think you have to, you have to, like, wind it back. But yeah, this is a one-time dungeon, so if you miss the Necronomicon here, you can never get it. And Jack also has a fast draw he can get in this dungeon, and to get it, you have to pick up all of these um, books that are just lying around. Also, this is so trippy, like, you're walking like right here... <sighs> Oh, uh, you guys see what I'm talking about. Like, that is so weird. Oh, good. These again. Yeah, it's like you go down a flight of stairs, then you go down another flight of stairs, and you end up on, like, the same, um, platform that you were on when you first started going down the stairs. It's really strange. Like, that, that, that is just so trippy. Yeah, okay, I missed nothing. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, never mind, no, 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 these are what drop the Necronomicon. They are Necronomicons. <laughs> My mistake, I forgot there were two different book enemies in this dungeon. But yes, these have a chance of dropping the Necronomicon. Which I guess is themselves. Or themselves. Kinda hoping I'd get one on my first shot, but oh well. There's eight of these books, by the way. And that's our third one.
Snow Blast. That's a unique spell. Although the animation looked like the Saint spell. Of course, it was Light Elemental, and I believe these are Light Elemental enemies, so that's why it had no effect. Then again, it wouldn't really make much sense for Light Elemental enemies to dwell here. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to guard and have Cecilia um, use Saint. I actually want to find out. Because I don't know. These things look pretty darkness elemental, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. I put Saint up there near the top. Oh, no. I guess they are Light Elemental. Huh. Well, I don't know. The friggin' dark purple freaking flames made me think otherwise, but all right. <laughs> Plenty of magic carrots. At least that guarantees I won't run out of the things while Necronomicon hunting. Okay, so now that we're at the save point, I am going to um, attempt to farm for the Necronomicon here. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I actually manage to get a hold of this darn thing. Got one? Awesome! Well, that took a little bit of time, but. Well, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to uh, pause for a little bit here because, yeah, I'm going to be doing some stuff for a few hours or so. I'll get back to De La Metallica soon, or De La Metallica, however you say it, I don't know. Okay, we are now back. And before we move on, let's be sure to actually equip the Necronomicon on Cecilia. Look at that insane boost. Also, um, Spirit tells me that, um, De La Metallica, or De La Metallica, however you say it, apparently it means of the metal. I'm not sure if that's true, like, you know, I'm not sure if he's correct on that, but, yeah, it apparently it means of the metal, which, well, I don't really know what this, um, place has to do with metal, but... <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense considering the whole entire reason we're coming here is to gain the ability to create living metal. Oh, I think we're at that ridiculous puzzle, by the way. Oh, hey, more Necronomicons. You know what? I, I don't even care. You know, it'd be funny if I got a second one. Why am I always, like, forgetting where the Saints spell is? I keep thinking it's further down. I guess because I don't usually, like, reorganize my spells. I don't normally, like, take the time to do that when playing this game. So I'm used to it, like, being closer to the bottom. I should probably... Yeah, I got quite a few magic carrots. Oh, goody! Now, now those are not those are not treasure chests. Though so those are um I know the solution is to open the third and the fourth one. I think anyway, but I'm going to show you guys how you're actually supposed to figure that out. First we have to go up here. Yeah, and running back and forth between these areas and getting into battles all the time. It's Oh, this was so frustrating. I had to use a walkthrough to, fit, to figure out this puzzle back when I first played. But, um, yeah. 
closed minds will lead Vilgaia to its doom. Yeah, you have to look for the words like closed or open. <laughs> it's it, it seems simple when you understand the trick behind it, but it just completely went over my head. The Elus have gone to another world. Now, see, this one is vague, but I'm guessing... Like, I, I guess the Elus are gone, so I guess being gone might represent being closed or something. I, I, I don't know. For a thousand years, people have torn apart the land looking for the future they've lost. Torn apart. Opening up the land. Open. Felicia Woman opened the box and all the desires of the world were released. This is human nature in its purest form. That one's obvious. So the fourth one is also open. What do you search for with, with those closed eyes? This is Phil Gaia, a dying world. So yeah, it's like some of them feel obvious, but the, um... Yeah, the, the, the tore apart the land and the, um, gone to another world one are just vague but yes that, that is how you are supposed to figure that ridiculous riddle out <laughs> again by the way there's no boss in this place so we don't have to be very conservative with our MP right now Besides, everything in here seems to drop magic carrots pretty frequently anyway. Actually, I probably could have just opened these chests earlier, but whatever. Empty... Empty. Yeah, they're all empty. You just have to open the third and fourth ones, and now that door should open up up here. Turn right, it can confuse them. That puzzle confused everyone. First time they came through this game. Oh, three Necronomicons. I didn't. I never encountered three um, in the previous room. It might, it might have been easier to get the drop if I fought them here. But oh well. Yeah, I guess I could go back. Some of the doors in this dungeon are one way only, so once you pass through them, you can't return. Oh, here's another book. That's the fourth one. Okay, that's it. Fifth one. <laughs> I wonder how much damage High Flame is going to do these things now. Yeah, it gives her a ridiculous magic resistance boost as well. Wow! See, it's totally worth getting. It's it's not required by any means, but it really turns Cecilia into a powerhouse. Okay, here are the last three books that we need for Jack's fast draw. <laughs> Mm 
sure our luck is maxed. Now here is um, pretty much the last puzzle of the dungeon through here, I believe. No, it's, it's a little ways further ahead. Here we go. You have to make a series of correct choices here. I don't think it matters which one you, you go through there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to choose man here. Now you might think that you want to go into the, um, the the life door because we're trying to save Rudy, but remember, um, we already have the Guardian of Life. This is the Guardian of Illusion, which is also death in this game. Well, of course, we want to forge a future for the world. Yeah, actually, I think I might have made a mistake. Yeah, I believe I did. Here we are, back at the start. Maybe you have to go right. I, for some reason, there's like some answers here that always confuse me. Did I wait? Did I choose the wrong one here? Yeah, you gotta go left here. Okay, I am failing at this. I don't know, maybe I have to choose horns here? At least I know this one is the power of death, like 100% certain. I feel like I'm taking too many lefts. Maybe it's Justice's power? No. Well, the Guardian Blade kind of did sort of take the future in the past. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to take that one. No. I really don't know. <laughs> well, we definitely don't want to take the future from the world, so let's just not choose that. Yeah, this time let's choose justice as power. Oh my gosh! Do I have to take the left door here, maybe? Okay, so I went ahead and I looked up the solution. You actually do have to take the left door first. Also, yeah, um, I was right here. 
You're supposed to go to the right. Leads to man. Although what I had completely wrong was actually this one. Yeah, you know, even even though we're basically going after, like, the Death Guardian here, um... You're actually supposed to go right. To receive the power of life. Yeah, to forge a future for the world. Obviously, that's what we want to do, so let's go through the left door. And finally, it's justice as... Battle. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know why I'm associating the Illusion Guardian with death. I, I don't know. Maybe it's not really death. I guess when I think, I guess when I think like darkness stuff and illusion, I don't know. I guess it just makes me think death. But anyway, that is how you get through that nonsense. Yeah, I, I honestly, every single playthrough, I always seem to forget the exact solution to that puzzle. Like, I always seem to make a mistake when it comes to, like, the life and death question. Like, I keep thinking you have to choose death, because I, I, I guess because I'm thinking that, like, the Guardian of Illusion and the Guardian of Life are, like, opposites to one another or something. So I keep thinking, like, the Illusion Guardian is, like, a Death Guardian. But then again, I already have a Death Rune, so I guess it wouldn't be the Death Guardian. Oh, actually, speaking of that Death Rune, it's about to outlive its usefulness. Well, here we are. Finally. So, you guys think Cecilia is OP enough? I disagree. <laughs> okay, let's get the heck out of here. So, with this, we can finally save Rudy, so now we have to go all the way back to the lab. Nah, we need to leave. Teleport! to the forest mound. <laughs>